This morning, I decided to kind of throw together a little bit of a different look. I know I've done several like summertime looks, but this time I wanted to show you guys just a little hack really quickly. So I already have my foundation on, I have my mascara on, and I'm just going to hit this. I forgot to do this a second ago. I also went ahead and did concealer and everything. So just really quickly going to hit this with some setting powder. Okay, so my little bronzing hack is to actually use a little bit of our liquid sunshine. So what I like to do is take a little dollop of this. And this is so great for the summer because it has, you know, that little bit of shimmer that's just really pretty. And it also, you know, is moisturizing and different things so it's really great for getting like a really nice light summery bronze contour going on so I take my uh, foundation brush actually and put a little bit on my brush and I like to just swipe it down And I love to do this because it just really um, gives you that bronzed look that's just really pretty for the summer because we all want to look like we've been out in the sun without actually getting having sun damage so all right so now that I have it on you apply it just below your cheekbones just gonna smooth it in just a little bit and see this looks so pretty with like a really nice summer glow that's what we want that summer glow okay now have that on see how pretty that is just really light kind of blend it in pat it in it's perfect okay then I take a little bit on my fingers and I take it up into the hairline so instead of using my bronzer I like to use this lotion because it just adds a little bit more of a summer shimmer glow um, versus like here let me show you guys so this is our bronzer and it's really pretty but our liquid sunshine is a little bit more bronzy. It looks a little bit more like natural sun. So the last thing I do is I take just a little bit around my jawline just to kind of get bronze there. Just really light. And this is going to be a really easy go-to summer look if you're going out with the kids because our bronzer is not, so the liquid sunshine is not waterproof but it does stick and hang on or like you have to use I have to use soap to get it off and it's very buildable but very natural so I'm just gonna pull it down around my temple like I would if I were bronzing with my regular bronzer just pull it down and around down onto the neck and when I use this on the rest of my body I'm super super fair like super super fair and so I um, actually cut mine when I'm using it on my body I cut it with lotion just regular lotion and it lasts then it lasts twice as long so see how pretty that is very very light very very shimmery just very pretty okay so now we've got just that little bit of sun kiss look on our on our forehead and it does help this does help slim down the face especially if you put it on the neck and around the jawline that is a great way to kind of slenderize the face okay the second thing we're gonna do I've already primed my eyes with concealer very light layer you do not need a lot of concealer to prime the eyes because you don't want to add too much because then it'll kind of wherever your eye creases it'll tend to clump up so that um, and it also saves your product so the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our bl blush number three which is the one that I use all the time 
and because we're going for that summer look, we're going to apply it more down toward our cheek, the apple of our cheek, to kind of get that really pretty, like, I've been out in the sun look. So just kind of laugh or smile and get it right there. That's where you want it. Just like that. It just looks so pretty in the summer. Okay. So then we're going to take our blush number three really quickly and we're going to apply it all over the lid. And this is the perfect shade to go with that bronzer because it has a little bit, it's a little bit more of what I would call a rose gold blush to shimmer to it. It's just got a little bit more of a copper undertone. So since it's summer, we're actually, I'm not going to put eyeliner on because I don't, I just don't think that that's necessary. I think if we're going for a really light summer airy look, we don't need that. The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this, um, blinking on the name. I'm going to think of it in a second, this kind of gold color and I'm going to tap, kind of mix it a little with my taupe for the best. And then I'm going to apply it side of the eye to give it a little depth but not much because we're not going you don't need to go heavy on the eye during the summer it's just I just don't feel like that's necessary you just want something light airy and that doesn't take a lot of time because kids are home from school and everything so you don't want to be spending your whole day putting on your makeup Okay, so that just adds the little bit of depth that we need, and we're just going to pull that up onto the brow bone, just really lightly, just blend it up because you don't want that line. None of us want that line. Okay, then because it's summer, I'm going to highlight just a little bit with this white, it's called Cream Boat, just kind of hit that, the top of the brow bone. Okay. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a little hack that I have. So I like to take blush number three. So I've used it on my cheeks, on my eyelids, and now you can take it and just hit your lips. And it gives you this beautiful, just kind of shimmery glow. Just real natural. You can leave it like that and it's gorgeous. Just very natural, very simple, very very French or something, I don't know. So you can do that and just leave it, or you could take a gloss and go over it. This is one of our high pigment glosses. It is called Believe, and it is a wonderful color to go with your blush number three, because again, it picks up kind of on that coppery, it's not copper, it's a rose gold, that rose gold color. So I like to take that, And just go over it and you could use one of our lighter colors if you really want the blush number three to come through you could do that but this is just a simple way to just kind of lighten and brighten so this is my go this is a great summer look so on my eyes I'm just gonna run over this really quickly I use blush number three and then I mixed um, this color I cannot remember the name. I do not know why I can never remember the name of this one. I'm gonna think of it, pi pineapple something. Pineapple of my eye, that's what it's called. And then this is taupe for the best. And I just mix those to kind of get a little bit of depth in my crease with a little bit of shimmer because pineapple of my eye has just a little bit of shimmer. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, later today, I Inspire is going live at 2 Texas time is a great product. You can throw it in the fridge. It has a little ceramic tip um, to apply under your eyes and lighten and brighten dark circles and also will get rid of puffiness. So you should try it. I think I may do a little bit of a little tester and just do one eye for a week and see what kind of difference I get. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.